ISIS uh, dash uh, Islamic State, whatever you call it, uh, it's the threat to the civilization. This is first. Second, definitely, uh, when we're talking about the Islamic State, it's not Islamic, and it's not a state. So this is the uh, quite a big group of terrorists united by the terrorist ideas. That's why it's, uh, it's a threat to the civilization. They are anti-Christians, anti-everybody. So this is, this, is, this is a real challenge for all of us. This war that you're waging in Syria, is it your war? Or just to quote uh, the British Prime Minister David Cameron, he, he says that Russia has done so much to degrade the non-ISIL opposition to Assad. So is it your war or is it Assad's war? No, this is our war. It's the war of Russia, the war of Britain, the war of the United States. This is the war of the humanity. Are you struck by the historical parallels here that in World War II, Russia and the West were forced to set aside their differences to tackle the Nazis? Is there a similar situation here in tackling ISIS? I think this is uh, more or less a similar situation because we're dealing with the uh, ideology. This is the ideology of the hatred to the people. And this is the similarity, definitely. And that's why we have to be united. The Syrian opposition says that your airstrikes killed 86 children in October. Will Russia now attack ISIS with as much intensity as it has been targeting the, the moderate opposition in the country? Uh, first of all, uh, we check the statements. We, uh, we, we cannot accept them. Uh, because there were... No there children were, were killed? No, no, no. There were a lot of disinformation uh, uh, was spread around about the Russian forces and about the Russian strikes. And uh, uh, we, I mean, we're not bombing the, uh, the cities. Uh, we're concentrating only on the military bases where there are no children. We, we would like, you know, uh, the British side to uh, help us on that uh, and uh, with intelligence yeah not just intelligence we don't basically it's whatever whatever they have I talked to Mr. Hammond Secretary Hammond about that uh, unfortunately the the British side is not ready uh, for that yet because uh, he said that in this case uh, Britain will share the responsibility on these strikes you know this is the argument uh, we don't accept this argument because it's uh, uh, I think the British uh, side could share the responsibility uh, with us on striking ISIS because this is also the enemy of the Britain. And, uh, so but there's not the political will for that in the parliament. Well, this is, uh, this is the... Uh, this is, uh, it's not a question about the parliament. The parliament, this is the, it's about the strikes, physical strikes in Syria. But I, is there I, an impatience with, uh, in Moscow at the... Um, speed at which Britain is moving on this? Well, we would like, we would like to see uh, this move a little bit faster, I'll tell you frankly. The US says that you bombed the very uh, moderate opposition that they were equipping. I'll tell you, they didn't give us any facts. We're always asking, give us the facts, what we did wrong. So this is just the general statements, you know, we want to see something concrete. Same with the Britain, you know, we don't, we don't get any specific information about that. And by the way... But it's pretty specific, isn't it, to say that you're bombing the people that they equipped? Okay, give us the right targets, you know, for example, this is the place, and this is the name of the organization, and this is not terrorist. So you're saying that the, the, the West didn't give you the help that you needed, you've had to sort of go it over? No, that's exactly what I, what I Secretary Hammond. Give us the right targets. Give us the right people. And today we establish ourselves the relations with the Free Syrian Army. And, uh, and they're telling us today that this, we are controlling this area. Please don't target that. Russia has been accused of state sponsored doping, uh, sabotaging the 2012 London Olympics. And the allegation is that there was even the connivance of the sports minister, the Russian sports minister. It was really shocking reading, wasn't it, that report? I'll tell you that it's difficult to read this, uh, I mean, even the newspapers and the report, uh, and um, uh, of course we don't accept this. Uh, you don't believe it or you don't accept it? I don't it? believe it. And uh, so, since we don't feel, uh, let's say, guilty on this case, we are ready to cooperate, we are very open, and I'm quite sure that uh, we'll, we'll pass this page uh, of the history and um, uh, will be part of the, uh, let's say, Olympic uh, events. Ambassador, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you.